Gentlemen, are you ready to be carried again? Donald, the only person who has carried me is my mama. Whatever, Obama. Hey, Sleepy Joe, who is better at Fortnite, me or Obama? Joe, hello? Earth to Joe, are you there? Oh, my God. Has he gone AFK again? The match has started and he isn't here. For God's sake. Let me call his cell phone. He might have just wandered off again. Hey, bro, you got a phone call. Hey, bro, you got a phone call. Hey, bro, you got a phone call. What in the world was that? That is Joe's ringtone. I think he left his phone next to his mic. Where is he? Sorry, boys. I was showing my friend around. He's going to be playing on my Xbox. Martin here, take the mic. Good luck, my new bestie. Wait, you have other friends? Wow. Now it's going to be awkward. Hello, gentlemen. Can you hear me? This is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. What the flip? There is no way that you are the real Martin Luther King. Yeah, he's dead. He got assassinated. Pish posh. I never died. I've been biding my time, waiting for the perfect moment to return. And that moment is now. Fortnite OG is the perfect chance for me to reach a new generation and spread my message of peace and equality. And what better way to do that than by playing as Goku Black, a white character with the name Black. Yeah, you're not MLK Jr. Uh, Donald Joe just texted me and it actually is the real Martin Luther King. Oh my God, Dr. King, it's an honor to meet you. You've done so much for civil rights and equality. Your legacy is incredible. Thank you, Mr. Obama, but right now I'm focused on one thing, getting that victory royale. I can't believe I'm about to play Fortnite with you, a true legend. Well, legends can also be Fortnite champions. Let's focus on the game, Mr. Obama, and well done for being the first black president. Yeah, well, I was the first orange president. Donald Trump, I know a lot about you and your opinions. Let me guess, you think I'm tremendous. I am disappointed in you. You have divided our nation and sown seeds of hatred and discord. Wrong. I hate gardening. You have attacked the poor and the vulnerable. Actually, they attack themselves whilst I relax in Mar-a-Lago. So in your face. And you have shown no regard for the environment or for the future of our planet. That's only because that annoying Greta Thunberg kept telling me to save the planet. And once someone tells me to do something, I will do the opposite. So it is her fault, not mine. You were a threat to our democracy and to the very fabric of our society. And I don't think you're very good at Fortnite either. That is too far. Who do you think you are? Mr. I have a dream. You are fake news. La 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 la. I can't hear you. Donald, you are arguing with a 94-year-old. A 94-year-old bitch. Donald, how many times do I have to tell you, you can't call Martin Luther King Jr. a bitch? But he said I was bad at Fortnite. I know, but you have a certain reputation. Guys, there's an enemy on the zip line. It looks like he is alone. No, Obama, do not shoot him. We are political figures. We should act like such. I will gain his trust. I will offer to hug him. Let us show him kindness instead of violence. He is a peely skin, simple-minded. Dr. King, there is no way a random enemy is going to hug you. He will just shoot you. We must never resort to violence, no matter how provoked we may be. We must always strive to meet hate with love and darkness with light. I hope he shoots you. Now shoot him while he is defenseless. Psych! Ha ha ha! Get shit on! That's how politicians do it. Never trust a politician. That was low-key amazing. Martin, actually, no. You need a nickname. Hmm. How about Little King? Because your last name is King and you are a junior. Yeah, you are Little King. Yeah, damn, Dr. King, you are a dark horse. Who would have ever suspected that Martin Luther King would be so sly? You could have made a great president. Thank you. But there is no power in being a political puppet. Instead, I have a dream. I have a dream? Oh, no. Why do I feel like you were about to do a speech? I have a dream that one day, 
on the virtual battlegrounds of Fortnite. People of all colors and backgrounds will come together hand in hand to build, fight, and triumph as one united community. I have a dream that one day all Fortnite players will be judged by the content of their character, not by the skin that they are wearing. I have a dream that all people will work together to destroy the sweaty players. I have a dream. Thank you. That was mid. I could do a better I have a dream speech. Mm. I have a dream of a country where our walls are strong and our borders are secure, where sweaty Fortnite players are locked up and our streets are safe, where our jobs are plentiful and our wages are high. I have a dream of a country where the media is honest and truthful, where fake news is a thing of the past, where people can trust what they read and hear. I have a dream of a country where our leaders are strong and decisive, where they are not afraid to stand up for what is right, even when it is unpopular. I have a dream of a country where our people are united and proud, where we celebrate our differences and come together as one nation. I have a dream of a country where I can play Fortnite in peace without being interrupted by protesters or the media. That was terrible. And why are there signs telling us not to dance? I will dance if I want to, for dance is a form of protest. It is a way of saying that we will not be silenced. It is a way of showing that we are human beings with feelings and emotions. Alexa, why is there a black man playing on my Xbox? Alexa, activate the panic button. Sleepy Joe, you senile fool. Discord is not Alexa. And the black man is Martin Luther King Jr. Did you forget that you let him play Fortnite on your Xbox? Oh, oh yeah. That sounds kind of familiar. Mm. Wait, so he isn't dead? Let's use the rift and find some noobs to kill. Yeah, that is a great plan, the best, believe me. So, Dr. King, why did you fake your death? Well, Donald, one night I had a dream. I dreamed that I was standing in Tilted Towers, the most iconic location in Fortnite. And I knew that I had to stay alive to play it. I knew that if I died for real, I would never be able to experience the joy of Fortnite. I would never be able to build my own wall or battle other players for the victory royale. So I made a decision. I would fake my death and go into hiding. I would live a quiet life and play Fortnite in secret. I know that this may sound selfish, but I believe that it was the right decision to make. Fortnite is more than just a game. It is a way for people to come together and have fun. It is a way to escape from the troubles of the world and just enjoy themselves. I believe that everyone should have the opportunity to experience the joy of Fortnite. That is why I am here today, to tell you that I am alive and well. And I am here to challenge you to join me in playing Fortnite. Imagine dying before getting to play GTA 6. See, that is why I fake my death. You could have just said, because I wanted to play Fortnite. Shush, there are enemies. What the fuck? Wow, look at this injustice. Oh well. I was bored of playing with you anyway. I'm going to play with Tupac and Michael Jackson. Hey everyone, it's your boy Barack Obama. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for watching me, Donald Trump, and Martin Luther King Jr. play Fortnite today. I know it was a bit of a crazy match, but we had a lot of fun, and I hope you all enjoyed it too. Just like how Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, I have a dream too. My dream is for all of you to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I know that may sound like a simple request, but it means the world to me. Now, I hope you all have a great day.